How you doing? Good. Mike, how are you? Good. Let me show you what we got here. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, actually, we, it, it's a couple different technologies that's new. Um, one is, uh, it's all around gas filling. And uh, we decided to focus on gas filling because if you look at NFRC driving sales in our industry, and the credibility of those numbers becoming a bigger and bigger factor. Right. Uh, you know, people are doing a pretty good job with the low E and the insulating glass, whether they're foam filling, the extrusions and testing, but there has been some credibility issues about, you know, the gas content All and gas what you're making. Or, or it, 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 yeah, it, you know, people are using mostly argon, but it could be argon, krypton blend, it could be okay. krypton, and the issue is, I'm actually told uh, by almost every retailer, the most often asked question uh, in selling a window is, how do I know the gas is in there? And, and their answer has always been, well, you know because we're certified. And, and they get around that. And um, what we've done is we've developed a technology that instead of just testing what you make once a year, right. it's designed to allow people to test the units that they're making in their plant as they're making it. Not, you know, typically people are using technologies that six hours later to one day later you test the unit. Right. There's calibration issues, and even if you have a problem, you know, what are you going to do? You just got a whole day's worth of production you're going to throw well, the away. The operator is able to actually know exactly every unit. As soon as they fill a unit, the operator simply can take a probe and statistically do it. You don't have to do it every unit because right. the process tends to drift. It doesn't change dramatically. Right. He'll he'll insert the probe into the unit. If you look over here, all he's got to do is just push the button. What we're doing, uh, people said you can't test because the argon and the air aren't yeah, mixed. Sure. Well, we're actually circulating the gas. We're forcing it to mix, okay. and we're measuring it. And you'll see this green line will pause any time there's a little variation. So we wait till it's thoroughly mixed. Okay. We take a measure while it's in there, wow. and then we tell him what he's got. But not only do we tell him what he has, but we create, we create a time stamp label. Wow. So I know that this unit was tested on June 10th, 2013 at 11.15 a.m. And so what we, we did this as a quality control test, but what the retailers have, have told us uh -huh. is in selling the windows, they're able to say, now when they ask the question, how do I know the gas is in there? Is Their answer is, that's a really good question. There's a problem in our industry that the test data on your Energy Star sticker is based on a unit that's made once a year. And, and there's really nothing requiring people to test what they're making. Right. And there's problems with, with machinery not really, you know, checking itself, number one, and not right. maintaining calibration. So if you buy a window that's got the thermal check label on it, you know that what you paid for is what you're getting because we're testing that. So what percentage of the pass fail? Well, that's up to what somebody certifies on, but typically uh, an operator will certify on 90% argon. Okay. Okay. And so this is 96.7. Okay. We can also configure the labels wow. like on this machine instead of saying that it says it in the code, but it, it's, uh, instead of getting into that argument on the retail side, it just says pass or fail. Right. And right. you can see in the code. So okay. what the retailers are saying then is uh, that, that's caused their close rate to go way up is, look, if, if you want to save $10 a window and go buy your windows at Home Depot, you can do that. Right. But how much gas is in there, right. I don't know. And frankly, they don't, they don't know, know because they're not sure. testing it. And so this tells us that we're testing. Now, internally, even in the plant, uh, you know, I made IG in the past and, you know, night shift is always a difficult thing is like, did you do your quality control last yeah. night? Oh, yeah, 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 we did it. Uh, how do I know you did it? Now you can say, I want one unit out of 10 or one unit per cart checked. You look at the label, you can't fake it. Right. Okay, the machine time stamps it, it's gonna pass it, it's gonna fail it. And plus it makes it easy for the operator because it's testing it when they're filling the unit. If there's a problem, you're identifying the problem when it happens so you can correct it. The guys on the shop floor wanna do the right thing. But if you tell them you did the wrong thing for the last six hours, you made it very difficult for them. Yeah. This solves that problem. It's really a great thing for our industry because it raises our credibility sure. that our windows are performing. What, what about leakage? If, you know, with, when you put the probe in? Well, I, our, uh, you, one of the issues with our system is, uh, uh, now you're getting more into our gas filling, right. is when people are filling, there's one hole, two hole, from right. the side, from the top, and you can get a two hole system that's working well, but if the operator pulls the probes out incorrectly, right. you're gonna lose gas. Right. 
And then, although you had a good initial fill rate, you didn't have a good fill rate when, when you finished. Right. So what we've dis done is we've taken this technology and then gone to the next level okay. and created our fast gas 500. Okay. It'll work with any spacer. It'll okay. work with super spacer, conventional spacer, uh, the Duralite uh, intercept. Okay. But we've really uh, engineered it for, there's a lot of intercept users that are struggling to keep up with their volume. Okay. And so we've created a process where we can fill the units as fast as an intercept makes them. Okay. Uh, wow. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but this is our twin turbo technology right. that uh, is extremely fast. It's from the top, so you don't lose gas when you're right. filling it. And the operator simply inserts the probe. You're going to have to give me a second here because I got the machine off because uh, it's a bit noisy. Okay. Okay. The machine's not running yet. That's just, uh, we're, we're actually pulling a vacuum on the unit. And so this machine is actually putting the gas in, and it's measuring the internal pressure of the unit, and it's pulling the vacuum out, right. and it's circulating the gas extremely fast, so we're getting a mix. Okay. And this is a, a, a single or two-station machine. Right. It's good for two to 3,000 units in a shift. Okay. Wow. The operator, now, we're, now here's the cycle time. The operator starts, he just puts the probe in, pushes the cycle time. Okay. And this is, this is what it takes to fill a unit. No, that's 8.9 that, seconds, that's and honestly, done. there was probably some residual gas in there. It should have taken 14 seconds. 14 seconds. But if you okay. look at 14 seconds in a two-station machine, uh, you're, you're more than a unit every 10 seconds, which is 3,000 units a ship. Yeah. I mean, typically, not a super, you know, no. not a... Uh, so I'll, I'll fill it one more time and then turn yeah. the machine off, but it's going to be very fast now because it's almost full. Right. So it's measuring the fill rate, And again, what we've done is, this is the best machine on the market. It's filling very fast, very accurately, but you, it's the fox guarding the hen house if they have a machine saying, I'm doing my own quality control. Right. So we built the thermal check quality control process into the machine. Right. So the operator then just, not every unit, but statistically, and is it one out of 10? Is it one per order? Is it one per cart? You can decide that. Uh, he then, does his thermal check on the machine, so it's verifying that the machine is accurate. Machines break, you know. Our machine breaks. You know, Boeing builds, you know, fifty million dollar airplanes that got grounded yeah. for three months. So it's not a question: is the machine good quality? It's a question of how you measuring your machine. So now we know that the the, the unit is filled properly. It's 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 it hasn't stabilized. It's mixing the gas. Right. Okay. So when it's done. It will verify this uh, unit, 97.6%, wow. uh, June 10th, 1120 AM. Nice. Now I know, so, you know, we think it's the fastest machine out there. We think that it will actually pay for itself in labor savings mm -hmm. versus the older technologies that are used. Um, it's the best quality control system. You will, if you're going to be de audited by the Department of Energy, right. you don't have a problem. You've got a quality Very control cool. system in that other people don't have. Very cool. The icing on the cake is even though this thing is going to pay for itself in labor savings, we believe that the thermal check system is probably the best marketing tool that's come out in the window industry uh, in years because it's a competitive business and people, it's all about the Energy Star label. And people, the, the biggest question they're asking, how do I know the gas is in there? Exactly. And we're, we're not measuring the color of a spark. We're not measuring an oxygen sample and then guessing what's in there. We're measuring the thermal conductivity of the gas in the unit at the time of manufacture. So if there is a process problem, you can fix the problem. We're pretty excited about yeah. it.